Jessica from Garmin, and today I'm going to take you flying in a G3X Touch equipped Grumman Tiger. In the Tiger today, we have a G5 electronic flight instrument, a 10 inch G3X Touch display, a 7 inch G3X Touch display, a GTN 650, and a GSC 500 autopilot. As part of this demo, I'll show you interacting with all of the equipment and the benefits associated with having multiple displays and, of course, the Garmin Autopilot on board. One of the benefits, of course, with G3X Touch is its display configurability in that you can install multiple displays in the cockpit. But you can also configure the displays themselves to suit your particular flying needs. I like to fly with a completely clean, uncluttered primary flight display, so I like to actually have my engine information on the multi-function display over on the 7-inch display. And we can move that from the PFD to the MFD. Pilots can also choose to display the flight instrumentation in a format that they prefer. I prefer to view it in tapes on the PFD, but pilots, if they're used to viewing the primary flight instrumentation in round dial gauges, you can actually change that within G3X Touch. Pilots who've never flown behind G3X Touch will find it eerily familiar to other Garmin products such as the GTN series, the new 2-inch navigators, the GPS 175, the GNC 355, and the GNX 375, and even Garmin pilots. So customers and pilots won't feel uncomfortable getting behind the G3X Touch system. There's a variety of ways to interact with G3X Touch in the cockpit. For example, we can use the dedicated knob to zoom in and zoom out on the moving map. You can also use the dedicated knobs to change things like altitude pre-select, heading, and even barrow setting. So you're not limited to just using the touch screen for key functions like that. And speaking of barrow setting and altitude pre-select, we can also enter that information on G3X Touch and it automatically syncs over to the G5 electronic flight instrument so we don't have to input that information twice. In the Grumman Tiger, we have, of course have a GTN 650, a dedicated audio panel, and the G3X Touch, and we can interact with the comms on multiple displays. We can interact with it right in front of us here on the G3X Touch display, of course over on the GTN as well. You've probably noticed how rich the 3D topographic display is on G3X Touch. Synthetic vision is available as standard on these displays. One of my favorite features of G3X Touch is the best airport bearing pointer, which shows the best airport to glide to if we were to have an engine out, and the nearest airport bearing pointer, which of course shows the best airport nearest our GPS location. Another feature available as standard is the connectivity associated with G3X Touch. For example, we can flight plan at home on our mobile devices running Garmin Pilot, and then once we come out to the cockpit, we can turn the avionics on, wirelessly transfer our flight plan to the G3X Touch display, and also share traffic and weather with our mobile device from the G3X Touch system. I mentioned earlier that I like viewing my primary flight display in a very clean, uncluttered format. And I rely on my multifunction display to show things like engine information, the moving map. In addition to the moving map, though, we can also display VFR sectional charts, IFR high and low en route charts, which, oh, by the way, also overlays traffic information. You can also look at the weather page, dedicated terrain traffic pages. Also on the full screen and multifunction display, we can show engine information where we can view individual cylinder head temperatures, lean assist, a fuel tab, electrical information, and then also a fuel calculator. One of the primary benefits of having multiple G3X touch displays installed in the cockpit is the redundancy. In this demo, in the unlikely event, we were to lose both G3X touch displays and we were connected to the autopilot. The autopilot would momentarily disengage, but we can re-engage the autopilot and it will couple over to the G5 electronic flight instrument. In this type of scenario, we retain complete autopilot functionality with the G5 so we can get to our destination with the autopilot still connected. And by the way, the G5 electronic flight instrument has a four-hour backup battery. G3X Touch is supported by Garmin's expansive dealer network and award-winning aviation support team. Pricing for a single G3X Touch 7-inch display starts at $7,995, and pricing for a single 10-inch display starts at $9,995.
For additional information, contact the Garmin dealer or visit garmin.com slash aviation.